I'm going to tell you guys right now about the teams Ooh, that we have playing. Hype. Oh yes, yeah. Let's start introducing the teams. Let's do it. Uh, so, so first off, yeah. I think we have a Q to win uh, going into uh, this game. Absolutely. If you want to give yeah. us a little bit of the breakdown of who Q to win is. Yeah, we're, Q we're to win. coming in from a refresher. Yeah, so we've had a few weeks off here, but we need to take a look at these teams right here. This is the website that we are on is called Notion. And I think if you do exclamation mark tournament, it will bring you to their Notion. I think I updated it. Sorry, uh, not exclamation mark Notion. It's exclamation mark tournament. Tournament. Yeah, there it is, Notion. You click on the Notion there. It tells you the matches, the teams. So we got Q to win up here. Conqueror, 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 Conqueror. If you don't know what Conqueror means, Conqueror is the top... 50 people on the server so these are the best players they play a lot they play hard they're very good at what they do and th we have 24 of the top 50 players in the entire server competing in our tournament so you guys are seeing a lot of conquerors on these on this ranks sort of the the breakdown here these are very strong players and they are facing off competing for over $300 worth of prizes. Now we have cute to win. Now cute to win, I know I've, I'm friends with Nightmare and these guys are, are, are quite active in the chat as well as who else is active in the chat. I feel like Do It For Sea Bunny is also quite active in the Twitch chat as well. So I've gotten to know both of these teams through the Twitch chat. And who are they against? They are against Dummy, right? Dummy. Yes. I can't pronounce these names. Do you, can you pronounce any of these names? Um, for dummy, it's uh, we have. Hold on, you're gonna have to give me a second here. My Mandarin is not great. Uh, <laughs> it's better than mine. Oh, so for dummy, I'm pr okay. So team captain is Lightning, Lightning Pig. Um, next person is Qua Assassin, uh, WKC. Uh, that name I'm pretty sure roughly translates to Wu, uh, sorry if I butcher this, uh, Wu Hyang. Okay. Uh, you can call him Wu. Wu, okay. And then, Woo! uh, A. A Wee, or, or, I don't know how to, I'll just call him A or something. Okay. Or E. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your names. You're pronounce you're doing better than I would. Because I don't know any of these characters or anything. Yeah, the only the only Mandarin I know is the orange I eat at Christmas. And those are delicious. <laughs> but they're very different than than the language. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are on the Notion website, if you do end up coming here to see some of the teams and you can see the matches. So you can see this is the last match for these guys scheduled right here. You can see the the matches. And you can actually actually go to schedule to see. So if I go back to the home page you can just click there to go back to the home page you can click on the schedule and you can see what matches are upcoming so after this game we only have one two three we only have three matches left and i'm talking to anihi because if we can move this the saturday one no this is a wednesday one if we can move the wednesday one this is january 20th to january 16th if we can have both of those matches on that saturday then that means we can actually start the finals where we have the the teams play in an elimination round we could have that on the 20th of january that could be really cool oh whoops my uh, my screen mirroring just disconnected and now we can't hear any music whatsoever give me a second here guys set that back up then we can hear we got fire then an ostrich in the chat eager for today's matches who else is in the chat oh that's loud but it's some sound uh, okay Oh, I got an invite from you. Oh, wow. The game's already already here and starting. Hey, that's exciting. The game hasn't quite started yet, if you guys are curious, but... Yeah, no, no. We're just queuing up right now. Yeah, just getting ready. 
The match is made. You guys can't see the match, and the reason why you guys can't see the match is because we don't want any party crashers, people joining the lobby, causing a commotion. It has happened in the past, so we want to try to prevent that. Oh, we got 148258026 in the chat. Hey, how are you doing? I love your name. Very unique. Hard to remember, but it's it's cool. It's like a prison ID number or something. Maybe you just got out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the sauce code, man. <laughs> His name is just a sauce code. <laughs> What's a sauce code? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a code, man. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> only, only culture people will understand what a sauce code is. Oh, it's probably an anime reference, isn't it? Sure, we could go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tempest loves his animes. He's got uh, a lot of anime references that he shares with us. So I've been learning a lot about anime through Tempest. So I'm just updating right now the team versus team viewer. Uh, we have to say who's fighting who. So we have on the top, looks like we have dummy on the top versus cute to win on the bottom. I don't know who's going to win this. I, f I think these teams, are they all undefeated? No, dummy's dummy tied against a team. Dummy tied against... Um, ready to lose but I don't think you to win has lost a game how do we find that out we need to go to oh man okay they're uh, their in-game names don't exactly match up with uh, dummies in-game names at least okay. uh, match up with the notion thing only yeah. lightning pig uh, is the one that matches at the moment okay well lightning Unless pig really that's who I'm going to focus on because uh, uh, who's Lightning Pig? We'll keep an eye on Lightning Pig because that's a cool uh, name. Lightning Pig's the person with the pig profile picture. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Perfect. So that's who I'm cheering for on Dummy's team, Lightning Pig. Because that's a cool name. And you guys can't see the profile picture yet because uh, we're hiding that from you intentionally. But <laughs> you guys will see it in a minute. Now, what does the tournament happen on? What website is it? It's a tournament hosting website. Do you remember the name of it? Because that's where I can actually see the rank, the ranks. Who's won what so far? I kind of want to show that to the people. Okay, definitely taking a quick picture of this. They're posting their English translation names. Uh... Chalong. Uh, Chalong is the here. website. Okay. Yu, Kai Chan, Yang, Pig. <laughs> He just goes by pig. That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys who has win, won what. So we're the Premier League right here. This is just chalong.com. And I got here from the Notion website. So the Notion that I, that I linked to you guys that has all the information that you need. The link is here. So we can actually see who's facing off right now. Dummy versus cute to win. Uh, oh, they're both undefeated. So Ooh who boy. did who did ready to lose? Oh, ready to lose tied with WLT. Wow. So this is yes, dummy, undefeated against cute to win, undefeated. One of these teams, one of these teams is gonna walk away with more points than they did yep. before. Yeah. At least one of these teams is gonna walk away. All right, yeah, Anihi in the chat letting us know that it's Chalong is where you can see it. Yeah, so we were, we were able to find it on Chalong here. Both undefeated teams, very excited. And I think we're ready to switch over. We are. Here we go, guys. We You can see it. Lightning Pig is going to be the third in position on Dummy's team. And I'm just nice. looking most forward to him because I like pigs. And Lightning Pig as well is just a really cool name. Really good combination. Right, but let, let's see if the pig can trot all over Q to win or if Q to win is eating bacon this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to put it. Yeah, what will become of the pig? 
Uh, Nihi is saying he's getting some lag. Um, is it from my video camera? Is it from video camera? Is it from audio? Ooh, Chewie's hosting the stream. I'm looking at the stream. I'm not seeing it lag. I'm not seeing it lag, so I'm not sure what might be causing that or what form of lag. So depending on what is lagging, that can help us determine what is causing the lag. So Anihi, if you let us know, that could help. We're getting the bans already. Now, Hayate, man, what a guy. He's been either banned or picked every game this tournament. Every game this tournament. He is such a strong marksman. He's mobile. He does true damage, just really strong. And he's kind of been the character of the tournament that teams oh, play wow, around it if he's chosen. Band. Yeah, Omen's actually getting a nerf. Did you know that? They're going to nerf Omen. Yeah. Yeah, because he's just so Butterfly strong right now. Pretty standard right yeah, because Butterfly, Butterfly in December, at the moment. If, you, if you don't remember, in December, there was some reworks and some buffs for certain heroes, and Butterfly got buffed across the board, and I think it was because of some of the new skins yeah. coming out. They wanted yeah, to give her some definitely. love. Yeah, wanted to sell those skins, and she was so strong. She still is. They need to nerf her, and I think they're going to. They're, they're nerfing Omen for sure. That name stood out to me. Uh, we might see Butterfly getting nerfed as well. Zip has been consistently banned. Rarely see him. But because Omen and Butterfly are being banned now, we're starting to see characters that used to be banned and not make it through actually getting chosen. We're seeing Teamy making it in. And we're seeing Richter as well. Good first, first pick. But seeing Teamy being chosen first, what does that make you think of as the red team? What's your what's your strategy against Teamy there, Tempest? What are your thoughts? Uh, so Teamy's a pretty interesting uh, hero to try and counter. Um, his whole advantage uh, relies on him being able to boost up his own team uh, through his passive gold gain. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so really, being able to control the map is honestly the best way to counter Teamy. Yeah, that's true. Teamy likes to roam with somebody so the here's the thing with supports the support usually wants to be getting vision now teamy is the type of support that he he can get vision relatively safely but if he is that means he's not giving passive gold gain to a teammate on his team so you can tell kind of what the team's strategy may lean towards based on the draft so if you see teamy drafted with say lindis or fennec these are uh, marksman junglers who scale very well off of gold gain you're going to assume they're going to not have as much vision on the map because team is going to be with that jungler it also makes you less likely or interested in trying to gank the jungler trying to invade the jungle team is probably going to be there so you can tell a lot from the draft when you're playing against Teamy, but you're right, vision uh, and map presence may not be a big thing when you see Teamy chosen as a support. Whereas if you see other supports uh, such as Xenial or Lumber, they like to have a bit more of a map presence than Teamy. Now we see Caffeine chosen uh, alongside it Richter. Good, it would also be a good time to mention that uh, Bright is uh, banned uh, from the tournament, right? Right, yes. And Dextra as well, I think, right? Not that they choose Dextra because she isn't particularly strong enough, I think, for Conquerors to be playing her in these high-level tournaments. But you're right. Bright is not available in the tournament yet until the next phase of the tournament. So once all the brackets are done and only the top six teams move on, that is when you will see Bright be making the rounds and bright is a very powerful character that's why you're not seeing him banned you might be confused wait i thought bright would be banned no he just you can't play him this turn not yet in two weeks time then we'll be seeing bright in these tournaments and that's going to be very exciting now it's time for bands second ban phase here Let's see, uh, red team's going to be banning marksman i think yeah all right nice uh we do see the joker band coming through uh, Ed Mistro oh, is asking if Timmy can give the gold bonus to the jungler. Yes, Timmy gives a 25% gold increase from minions killed uh, around him to his nearest ally. So that could be a jungler, 
that could be a marksman that could be he could even be in slayer lane but usually you see him with heroes that scale better off of gold which aren't going to be heroes typically found in the slayer lane it's going to be your junglers it's going to be your marksman typically you could have yeah, a mid lane carry also, as well which you could work with it's also why uh getting map control over teamy is actually quite effective because teamy is always following his team usually he's rarely actually going out and getting vision uh because he has to follow his uh teammates uh to give that passive gold mm, that's true actually his name is team e team me right he is the team he he wants to be with the team so i never thought of it that way yeah he's very <laughs> it's a good good name i wonder if they thought of that when they named the characters it'd be hard to name characters i think like what what about when you look at Annette and you're like okay i want to name her Annette. like she doesn't have a fishing net like she doesn't have any of those things so i wonder what made her choose that maybe they knew someone they just wanted a uh, sort of generic sounding female name which Crixie does not have it looks like Crixie's going to be the choice for their mid laner and that looks like an emily man <laughs> Yeah, Annette with her glasses looks like somebody that you'd picture being Emily. For sure. We have Lightning Pig not choosing Tool, and I was I was wondering if because he's a Lightning Pig, he might choose an ele electric sort of character. No, he chose Lorian. Lorian's very strong right now. We've we've seen him banned actually in this tournament. I think it was only once, maybe twice, but we have seen him banned. He's he's very powerful. He's very anti dive, or uh, he can also have a very strong dive with his ultimate it has a big round knock up that can knock up multiple opponents and you see him he's very versatile so uh, it's cool to see him there on the blue team as electric pig that's who i'm most excited for just because that's a name that i recognize <laughs> Ooh, and if we do see the superman pick it'll be very fun because we have seen some very good superman representation in the tournament uh, so far uh, Superman has actually been a very successful hero uh, within NA Glory. Yeah, I would be very surprised to see Superman chosen into Annette, personally. Annette's ultimate creates a circle on the ground that enemies cannot enter. And if they're inside that circle, they get pushed out right away. So th I feel like Superman's pretty hard countered by Annette. I would be very shocked. So we're not seeing Superman. So that's probably good for the blue team. I think that's smart. They Superman Whoa, also doesn't work great with Teamy. Teamy. Oh Wait, wow! And teamy. Yeah, this is really interesting. So they don't have a marksman. So I wonder who's going to be in that marksman lane. Is it going to be Grack and Teamy together in the marksman lane? That seems Whoa, very that odd. So interesting. I'm very interested. Uh, we have to remind ourselves, Dummy is a all conk team. So, yeah, very uh, strong. We have to, we we have to really see into what they plan to do here. They might be running. Um, uh, Grack as the marksman you're right uh it's gonna be very interesting to see what they do yeah and actually Grack and malak work very very well together malak wants people close malak wants to hit people with his first skill it, it cleaves and it gives him lifesteal it does true damage and Grack can just pull people running away back into malak so i imagine i mean we're just guessing i've never seen this composition before i'm very excited to see it in action this is history in the making right here i'm i'm wondering who you'll see in the same lane together you could see malak and Grack together but where will teamy be who's going to be in the the marksman lane right if if malak and Grack are maybe in slayer lane who knows i don't know this is going to be really interesting and meanwhile the red team and their response they have a, a lot more typical team. You're going to have Richter in the Slayer lane. He's going to be able to roam and such. They actually have Lubu in the jungle. He has a lot of lifesteal. Crixie is going to have a hard time against Kira for sure. This is I'm excited. This is crazy. I've never seen a game like this. Oh, Ed is recommending I turn up the caster a little bit more. I can do that for sure. All right, Thank you. All right. Yep. Wow. This is so cool. I'm very excited to see this right now. We can actually see Dummy is not currently Conqueror, so maybe over the holidays they didn't get enough games in to, to keep their Conqueror status. They're all Masters, though. High high Masters with lots of stars. Um, but their teammates, for sure, I know are currently ranked Conquerors. At least, uh, at least Nightmare is, for sure, and I think most of them would be. But this is going to be a crazy match. I actually have no idea how the top team dummy is going to choose their lanes and and saying that that means red team won't know either or maybe they have an idea maybe they've seen a composition like this in the past i don't know but i am eager to see it we got our man lightning pig 
in the middle, Lorian. I, I'm going to be keeping an eye on him. I'm excited to see yeah, what for he's sure. up to. And no, this is definitely an off-meta, very off-meta uh, comp right hey. now that we we're seeing. Hey, hey, hey. So um, there was a technical issue. Um, what happened was the, the Grack pick was actually not supposed to happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. that was a technical issue. So what's going to happen is they're just going to try to... Yeah, they're going to try to push to win, I think. That's what's going to happen. So both teams talked about it, and we'll probably see a reset on this game, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Good to know. Dang, we were hyping up the Grack pick <laughs> so much. And we're like, oh, wait, hold on. It was, um, uh, <laughs> hold on, a technical <laughs> yeah. error. Okay, well, uh, we see Teamy just kind of hanging out. Then I don't, I don't even know what to say. So they're going to redo this match. Um, all right, so is this time for the uh, sellout timer? Is this where we uh, plug our channels and stuff? <laughs> Tell people to follow the stream? Yeah, that's a, we, could, we could do that. Um, I'm kind of just... We could get to know our people as well, I think. We're in a match right now, so we can actually see what they're doing. So they've opened up the bottom lane right now. They're just going to try to end the game right away so that they can reset it. I don't think that they can, they can surrender quite yet. So yeah. I... I wonder, Timmy, what he did choose that first. I think they were maybe trying to swap players. So I actually don't know which is the support player on right, on this let's team. Let's see which team can speed run to the core the fastest. Uh, right now we have an <laughs> optimal strategy here in mid as they're for the tower diving bottom line. And oh my goodness, they take the first. The tower, tower goes now down at the two minute mark. Holy wow. crap! This might be the fastest game we've ever seen. Do 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. We can see Dummy is really spaced out. They're just kind of, they're trying to not farm. They don't want to get too too much of a lead here. I think they're trying to build Red Team's confidence. Cute to win. Invading the Red Team's jungle. They just want to exert their, their dominance here and show how powerful of a team they are already. We see no defense in that bottom lane. Cute to win. Just oh, going to keep pushing it. Uh, this is looking like the optimal strat right now and blue team has officially surrendered wow that early game <laughs> tower push really really did them in they weren't seeing that coming and, and it really got them it's unfortunate but as a fastest game we've seen two minutes holy crap the sub 40 second game uh Uh, so you, you, do you oh. want to run down the MVPs of that game, Peter? Yeah, M <laughs> MVP for me was was probably Grack. He was the only person who I went to agree. the bottom lane. Yeah, and yep. he also had the most farm. I don't think he killed any minions, but he was just near a minion when it died, and so I think he got some gold. <laughs> if you're tuning in late and wondering what happened, there was uh, an, a technical issue in the draft. So the blue team dummy ended up with Teamy and Grack, which we were going crazy about. We we're like, this is some new meta stuff. Like, We've never what? seen this before. What's happening? How is this Comp even going to work? <laughs> Teamy Grack. I'm like, well, what's happening? What kind of crazy off meta strat do they have going on right now? And then yeah. the TO comes into our voice chat. It's like, hey, yo, uh, technical error, bud. <laughs> Get wrecked. That was pretty cool having Anihi come in because if you guys don't know Anihi, he's the organizer behind this whole tournament. He's the vision and the passion behind it all. Tempest and I, we're just, we're casting it, we're streaming it, we're trying to build energy, we're kind of the front face, but none of this tournament would have come about if it wasn't for Anihi. So for him to make that cameo appearance, like that was really cool. Hey guys, we're just going to have to uh, redo that so it was, it was great to see him he's explaining in the chat now both teams will do the exact same pick except for Grack. okay technical issue <laughs> so who will we <laughs> see besides Grack? Uh, obviously we're going to see a slayer uh no they chose malloc so they need to choose a marksman we're going to be seeing a marksman i imagine you can alternatively have malloc in your marksman lane he does scale with gold but he doesn't scale as well as actual marksman's actual ranged characters so and you got to choose a marksman that can that can deal with annette so i was it was interesting to me to see the joker band because annette's pretty good against joker i thought but these are conquer teams they know what's going on they they know more to the story so i think joker's good against Crixy, and maybe that's why they banned joker because they don't want Crixy just getting bopped but at the same time kira's also pretty good against Crixy. 
so we'll have to see. Uh, so originally when I was uh, casting for the pick ban phase, uh, the reason why I was excited to see Superman is because I thought maybe Superman is going to try to make up for some of the vision that Teamy can't get. Mm, uh, that's, that's true. Why yeah, I thought Superman might have been a smart choice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Absolutely, uh, you could try to get more map vision. I think Elsu could be a very strong marksman pick. You want yeah, a marksman yeah, right. who can hang out and be safe. Uh, Caffeine is already chosen. Caffeine is pretty good at just being pretty safe and and running really fast. Uh, Elsu drops mines, which give him vision. He also turns invisible when he's near terrain if he has not used a, an attack in the past three seconds. So he can be off of the map in that sense. Uh, on the mini map, the opponents won't see him. He has a sniping skill, which shoots at, at long range. So he doesn't have to get close. Uh, I feel like he could be a, a very strong pick in the marksman role. Fennec is a marksman who has a lot of mobility, but he's not going to do well on his own in that lane. If they were to put Fennec in the marksman lane, you'd see you'd see Timmy hanging out with him a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really curious what marksman they'll choose. Uh, we're seeing a lot of different languages in the chat, and I just do want to encourage you guys to, if you know English, to use English. And the reason for that is so, so that we can moderate it. Uh, if people are in the chat saying some bad stuff, and we have no idea what's being said. You know, we could we could be pinged with some uh, some penalties from Twitch and such. So we need to encourage languages that we can all speak. So yes, yeah, yeah. please try to we, use. We don't want to get hit with the Pog Champ bat ban. Yeah. <laughs> like you texted. We do not want the Pog <laughs> Champ ban. That'd be so sad if this tournament got canceled because we had people flaming and saying some stuff in the chat we had no idea of. Uh, but yeah, Twitch actually encourages you in their terms of service to be able to moderate your chat, and so they say only do the languages that you speak. Which I, I only speak English. I know you speak some languages, Tempest, but. We're, you're casting. You can't be moderating that channel. So let's try to keep it English there, yeah. folks. We're going to see a, a ban here. I imagine we'll see Zip ban. Probably Zip or Butterfly. Both are very strong characters. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And uh, who do you think we'll see banned from Dummy here in the, the second spot? Well, uh, I'd assume they're going to be doing the same bans as before. And everything's going to be the same until... Uh... Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait what was i just saying oh never mind hey, very interesting we do see the butterfly ban and maybe we are gonna see the teamy pick here uh we're probably gonna wow, see caffeine and caffeine and richter are a strong combination we might see them and Crixie also works well with richter annette is just a fantastic support we might see these characters drafted alongside richter Kira, very strong jungler. Oh, and Lightning Pig. Oh, Lorian. Choosing Lorian. I was thinking he might choose Tulin because it's a kind of an electric, sort of shocking character to go along with the lightning theme. But no, we do see Lorian instead, which is all good. Oh, man. This pick ban phase is so fast. It's starting to look like my ranked games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. People just pick. They don't even look at what the draft is. They just pick stuff. Maybe that's what happened last game. Maybe that's why Grat got chosen. But we'll, we'll have to see. What is the ban going to be here? Wonder Woman. Okay. And Yenna, of course, banned by the red team. You don't want to see Yenna. Yenna's actually pretty good at roaming. And Richter is very strong. But he has some counters. Omen's pretty good against Richter. Anything that prevents Richter from being able to move and get out. And uh, Yenna is one of those characters that can do that. But more so Omen. He's really scary. We're going to be seeing Lubu in the jungle. Strong jungle pick. Probably see Annette as support. And now we're going to see what marksman, what marksman Q, Dummy is going to choose. Is it going to be, is oh, it going to be, Grack. <laughs> that would be so funny. Could be Elsu. It could be Laville. Laville's pretty safe as well. He has his second skill prevents uh, any crowd controller blocks the first spell that hits him essentially so if Crixie tries to knock him up for example wouldn't work okay we could see a scaling hero yeah like Morin the thing is so whoever they choose in their marksman lane is going to say a lot about where Timmy will be if they're choosing Morin they're going to want Timmy to be around Morin meaning that Kira won't have the babysitting in the jungle that Timmy would provide 
Laville also has that global ultimate, if you don't know. Uh, his ultimate is very much like Ash from League of League Legends. Of Legends. Yeah, where yep. he just shoots this arrow. Or in his case, it's a magical bullet. Something very strong. Shoots across the map, stuns whoever it hits, and it stuns longer the further it's traveled. Well, we're seeing a much more balanced team composition here from Dummy. Nothing really surprising to me. We're seeing Laville in the marksman lane. So Laville's a really good pick. He... He would like to have Teamy around, but he also doesn't have to have Teamy around. You want to choose a marksman that can roam as well. So Elsu can roam. Laville can roam pretty safely. Who else were they hovering there? I can't remember for their marksman role. They were looking at a couple. Morin. Morin can't roam very well. Not as safely as Laville can anyways. So they have a very diverse... Like, it can do a lot of things. It can play a lot of ways. The dummy's draft. I really like it. Malak can can dive, but he can also peel. Like his alt doesn't have hard CC, but it can zone out an area which slows down movement speed of the opponents. Um, so they can play very aggressively or they can play defensively. The only hero on their team, on dummy's team, who can't is Kira. She's very uh, and a very aggressive hero. She's she's a assassin that can move through walls. So I guess in that sense, she's a pretty safe assassin. So their team can play a variety of ways. Red team, though, their team is definitely more aggressive. When I see Richter and I see Crixie, that's that's an aggressive team. Okay, here we go. We have, again, Lightning Pig in the middle lane. We're going to see Laville. Actually, that's not Lightning Pig. Lane. Lightning Pig is uh, Laville at the moment. Oh, they switched. Wow, look at that. You're right. Lightning Pig is going to be the Lavelle, so I'm going to be keeping my eye on him. The story of the pig. Can he not die? <laughs> like you said, not become bacon. Can he do it? Teamy charging the fart. We see three in the mid. So we see on the red team, they have a 1-3 split. They actually don't have anybody in their bottom lane because, of course, Lubu is jungling. So they clear the mid lane, and then they're roaming bottom. that farm. Yeah, and look at where Timmy is. Timmy's not giving his team any bonus gold right now. He's just he's going for the vision like we talked about. Timmy has to decide, is he going to give vision or is he going to give gold? Right now he's giving vision. And he's going to oh, die uh -oh. here. First yeah, that's blood. a dead yeah, Timmy. Blood. Nightmare picking it off yeah, immediately was, for the invade. Looking uh, at that position, and I was thinking that was kind of risky, especially seeing Q to win moving as a squad of three. That's going to be tough for poor old Timmy. Oh, They're going to lose another Laville. In trying to do something here has to flicker out he has to flicker out he um, does make it out now it is worthwhile to note that that's five of the red team's players down in the bottom that's going to be a free invade for kira if she can get up there quickly enough she is able to get the red buff but will she be able to make it out with all of red Looking team coming like up squad right now as they're all traveling up to the top lane uh kira is gonna trap uh get, get trapped in the middle here teeny coming in for some support Malik keeping wow. three people occupied here in top, doing a great job. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, chat is saying the stream is lagging, so it's actually the screen mirroring. Uh, guys, I apologize. Um, I'm going to try to... Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, we're going to keep commenting this, commentating this match. Uh, it is a little laggy. I do have a solution, but it would involve me closing down this game entirely, which is not ideal. So we're going to commentate as best as we can, even though it's laggy. The video, you guys can hear us fine. I know that you can hear us fine. You can see us fine. We just see the Abyssal Dragon go down. Dummy able to take the Abyssal Dragon. Malak right now getting ganked by both the Lubu and the Richter. Is he going to oh, be able no, to make Malak's it out? A beast. He should be able to make it out alive. Malak's uh, passive is really strong. Yeah, he's yeah, a, he is. Yeah, he's a strong player. We saw him earlier taking on the, the three players all alone while Kira fought in the jungle. He knows what he's doing. These are very strong players. Oh, she had a big wait, fight in the mid lane. Richter coming in for the uh, poke here. Uh, Laville uses his stun, is able to do a little bit of damage. Both teams backing off. Uh, they are going to see to decide what to do. But it actually looks like Hugh to win wants the invade here. They are going to try to go for the red buff. Will Dummy contest? Looks like they're oh, doing the best like that they, they can. Might. They have Teamy in the jungle okay. now. That's where Ooh. raccoons love to live. They're going to be having a good advantage. They're able to push out the opponents from the jungle, but they weren't able to get their red buff, it doesn't look like. Looks like Crixie yeah, has Crixie the red buff. It. Yeah, which is 
kind of useless on her but it's it's they stole it from team dummy which is really powerful we see a big fight in the bottom lane right now teamy oh, and laville against annette caffany lightning pick is about to go down oh no okay we have uh teamy coming in for the save and now Lorraine gets a nice levitate on uh, Annette. Annette is forced to back off, but Kira is in a little bit of trouble. Oh, wait, Kira gets his nice sneak damage on Sally there. Sally does end up falling, but we have Nightmare coming in from the uh, mid lane for the clean on Kira. Yeah, Lubu able to get that, that kill pretty cleanly. You, you'll notice the gold is very, very close to being equal here. And usually you don't see that, especially with Teamy. The team with Teamy usually goes ahead in the gold, so... Uh, Q2Win is doing doing very well in being able to maintain this gold advantage that they have. It's now 300 gold ahead. There's a huge fight in the bottom. Timmy went in with his hook trying to get his, get some stuns. Laville with his ultimate stun onto Annette. He wouldn't doesn't want to hit Annette, but she's the one who got hit, so it is what it is. And Red Team's able to make it out okay, but maybe not. Look who's in the jungle there. Richter's ready and waiting. He's going to jump in, use his ultimate now. He's getting a lot of true damage off. Lorian getting the knockup, which is huge, onto the Richter. And they were able to get the kill. That was a huge ultimate from oh, LaVille. Oh, did you see that in net ult right there? That was insane. Yeah, that, this is the story of the ultimates here. Uh, I, I, meant, I said LaVille. I meant Lorian actually landing that ultimate. That was huge, allowing them to get that kill on the Richter. They end up, red team pulls out cute to win able to get the dragon so even though they lost more people in that fight they were able to get the dragon and keep it somewhat close the gold actually identical it's the exact same right now yeah but as you can see overall map control uh q2 win is definitely winning and as i said the greatest way to counter team is just map control and that is exactly what we are seeing from q2 win at the moment yeah that is definitely teamy's weakness he can't be getting vision and giving his teammates the extra gold at the same time he has to choose what he's going to be doing and yeah q2 win doing an excellent job of identifying that and playing around it we can see the gold breakdown here in the bottom you can see the items being bought by each Ooh, potential team. Potential fight here in mid. Nightmare kind of caught out in the middle. Is going to be able to get out alive. And that now forced to cut off a dummy from uh, Sally here. Uh, hold. Okay, wait. We have Caffney coming in for the support from the top lane. Annette trapping Kira there. Uh, letting uh, Caffney get the clean kill there. That ultimate was huge from that. We see Laville actually landing his ult again on Annette. It's like Annette has a magnet on her. She keeps getting hit by the ult. Caffany doing so much damage this game. Using the ultimate to, to push away the Maloc. That's really big. Laville actually just finishing his Clavis Sancti. I don't know if you saw that on the left-hand side. That's a big power spike item. Marksman uh, scale very well. Power spikes, uh, you can notice when they buy their items. So Caffany's actually had her Clavis Sancti for a little while more than Laville. You can see the gold breakdown. She has 4.1k versus Laville's 3k. So she's doing a lot better in terms of gold, which is that's that's what support um, that's what marksmen need to get stronger. We'll see yeah, with three in the bottom right now, they don't have a tower, so they kind of need to play defensively. Lorian being the front line, pushing away the Annette in the mid lane. So she's not going to be able to invade that jungle to get any vision. Lorian doing a good job pushing her away. Uh, yeah, so uh, interesting thing about that bottom thing. Uh, it looked like uh, Dummy was trying to get a gank on Richter, which isn't the greatest thing to do, especially if you're a tower down in that lane. Uh, but as I'm talking, we do have a fight in the blue side jungle here for dummy uh kira getting super low she doesn't make it out alive as nightmare does clean up the kill malik going in on the back line and now we have laville getting chased by nightmare nightmare being the nightmare for dummy right now uh actually cleans up laville right there yeah that was huge teamy oh is he gonna get vision of the richter not quite not quite and richter actually using the uh the jedi looking skin Shout out to the Mandalorian if you haven't seen the new season. It's phenomenal. But we see Slayer going down right here. Red team, cute to win, able to take that down. Further their gold advantage. And you'll notice watching these Conqueror teams play, how they play so methodically. Uh, this entire game, cute to win, has had at least three people together in certain areas of the map. They, they just roam very well together. And now that they have exerted their dominance on the map, you'll see now they're spreading out a little bit more than they were before they have that map dominance which you've you've mentioned and you'll see actually dummy is forced to now stick together super close if they don't want to get picked off exactly oh big laville alt under the richter 
But Richter, oh, of Richter. course, has immunity with his second skill. Oh, Ends up going down. Matter, though. That's huge. Crixie oh, using wait, her oh, ult. Is Kira? Oh, Kira does a risky dive. Will she make it out alive? Gets punished by the Lubu. Gets finished off by Kendrick there using the Capney laser form. Now we have Teamy caught out in the middle. Doesn't make it out alive. We have a huge tower dive. Annette cutting them off from going back to Fountain. And this is a nice team fight coming in from Q to win. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was a 4v5. So Dummy only had four players in the bottom lane. You saw Malag running down as fast as he could, but he's a pretty big boy. He can't use those wings to fly. Only when he uses his ultimate, he couldn't get down there fast enough. And unfortunately, his team was all dead by the time he arrived. He used his ultimate on the tower, but it just wasn't enough. He might actually end up going down here to the Caffany ultimate. That is huge. Yeah, so as it looks like they are trying to uh, wrap this up, uh, Dummy is back alive. Uh, this one team fight down here, they do have Drake on the bottom. Can they uh, finish it off here? Yeah, I imagine this will be the end. They ha because they have the dragon, I think that they could end. The thing is, they don't have to end either. They are in such a powerful position that they Ooh, goes are probably going to win. This might be a terrible mistake for them. Lorian now caught out in the middle there, and that is looking like it might be GG for... Uh, for dummy as yeah. a to win now takes it over them you'll see teamy didn't even get to get his ultimate off when he went in he just died so fast that's the thing with teamy i find he's he's a very strong support he's just so difficult to play and so many interactions like the, as we were talking about you can play around him uh if he's not getting vision on the map you can play around that and he'll be sticking around with uh, his team to give them gold or whatever the situation is you you can identify how team he's going to play and you can try to play around that that being said he's a very strong character very good at engaging or appealing uh, keeping his teammates alive with his ultimate but we just saw such oppression from the Caffney and Lubu combined that poor Kira she was either getting hit by Lubu's uh, I think it's his first skill that's a projectile she'd get hit by that or she get hit by the Caffany, the, the poke, just the poke composition, actually. And I didn't realize this, but in retrospect, looking at it, q to win has a phenomenal team for poke. They have Crixie, who's in the mid lane, one of the best. Probably the best, actually, for poking, as far yeah. as mages go. There are definitely some strong mages for poking. Crixie gets movement speed when she lands a spell. Very strong. Caffany, as well, one of the marksmen known for her kiting abilities pokes and runs lubu great he's very mobile and richter wow so strong so guys i we had some lag that game so i have some solutions so what i'm going to do right now is we're going to go to the just chatting screen i'm going to close all my programs on my computer right now everything other than discord other than discord because <laughs> i can't close down discord i cannot do that <laughs> or we would lose our friend tempest and we don't want to lose him so we're closing down that do i have any other apps we're going to do control alt delete we're going to do the task manager i did restart my my computer from scratch this morning okay good so there shouldn't be any programs there and i am going to restart my cellular device so i'm turning off my phone completely so guys don't worry i will be back Peter Pot will return. But we're going to make sure that we do everything we can to make sure there's no lag. We do not want any lag on these matches, guys. These are conquer players, all conquerors, like fantastic teams, very strong players. I know Team Dummy isn't currently conquer, but they were conquerors in the past, as you could see when they registered. And you can look on their profiles and you can see they were they were conquerors. But it's so much work to stay as Conquer, especially over the Christmas season. I mean, if you want to stay Conquer over the holidays, you need to be waking up Christmas morning and grinding out a bunch of matches just to make sure you, you keep those stars. Which is not for everybody. I know I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that. <laughs> That's too much AOB <laughs> for me. <laughs> All right, we're turning on the screen mirroring here. We completely reset everything. And you know what's so ironic is that we didn't have any lag in that first game with the, the Grack pick. <laughs> we just had the lag during the hype match, during the actual match. It was unfortunate. All right, Thank resetting you. everything. Ooh, thanks for the follow, Apex Jobber. 
We are on a delay, stream delay, 45 seconds, which gets rounded up to a minute. We're doing a tournament right now, $300 in prizes. It's uh, about a nine week tournament. Okay, we got the acceptance here and I'm gonna hop over to the spectator mode. I follow, does Douglas get a treat? Okay, so let me tell you guys I know, yes, Apex. Yeah, thank you. Charity just came to remind me, which I know, don't worry, I know. That's my brother. That's my biological brother. I've been telling you guys about how I met my uh, biological family uh, just a week ago, actually. Yes, I think so. But there is a delay. There is a delay. So, Douglas gets treats on Treats for Douglas Knight. Thank but you! Oh my goodness, oh Discipler? My Get, I was gonna gosh. say... Uh, Discipler! <laughs> what? When it's not treats for Douglas Knight, then uh, he only gets a treat with a subscription. He gets a, a Dentabone. But let me tell you, we just got like a ton of subscriptions from Discipler. Holy crap. Wow. If you guys don't know about Discipler, he has terminal cancer and he got to meet the Browns, the Cleveland Browns starting quarterback just a uh, week ago, last Sunday. Last Sunday, he got to meet, um, oh man, his name escapes me, but uh, you can tell us, Discipler, his name in the in the chat. All right, let's give Douglas his treat. Thank you so much for the follow, Apex Jobber. And we are going to give Douglas his treat right now. This is a dent dentist stick. It's healthy, it cleans his teeth, he loves it. Douglas, come on over. All right, lay down. Good boy. We have everybody in the lobby ready for this game, but we just got how many subscriptions oh, is this? Apex Thank Jobber you, Douglas. with the oh, sub. Apex Jobber with the sub too. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Coming in here, dropping this. How many subscriptions is this? We just got five and number six from Apex Jobber. Wow. Thank you so much. Crazy. Douglas is enjoying his treat. Uh, on the, you can hear somebody with me. That is Tempest Tries Twitch. He is co-commentating this tournament with me today. We have a stream delay, so I'm really focusing on this tournament. I am so excited, Discipler, that you just gifted all those subs. Apex Jobber, aka my brother. I am so glad that you're here. I'd love to chat with you more, but we do need to talk about this tournament and stream it, and so that's what the focus is for now. We are going to hop on over. We are ready to go. Douglas is enjoying his treat and we're watching that. We're just ready. The The teams are ready to go. Find a match. They're saying they're ready to play. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, Peter, we're, we're just waiting on you because uh, I told them you were Perfect. Your phone. Okay, I am ready. I am ready. Baker Mayfield. That is who Discipler got to meet, the starting quarterback. Baker Mayfield and Baker Mayfield's wife as well, who is very friendly, it sounds like. Help get him set up with with meeting Baker. DMY. So we have cute to win on the top now. Cute to win up one game against their opponents. Dummy. This game, if you're just tuning in, so I know Apex Driver, you haven't seen this game. This is like League of Legends, but for the mobile. It's called Arena of Valor, and it is fantastic. It's an awesome game. It's a MOBA it's game. It's slick, if you yeah. ask me. <laughs> it's very slick yeah and so you're seeing today this this round right now we're seeing two conqueror teams so conquerors are the top 50 people in the entire server that's it's the equivalent of challenger in league of legends so they're just like the best players we have 24 of the best players on the server in this tournament playing for over 300 dollars. it's a tournament that goes over the course of about nine weeks and it's just been phenomenal it's been super hype we usually on saturdays get about 60 viewers so today is a bit slower i think that's because it's the holidays just passed holidays yep holidays For people sure. aren't quite in the swing of things yet but this game is phenomenal it's free to play i'm on my phone right now this is how i'm playing it you can play it anywhere i play it charity can be watching a show i'll play it in the living room with her we could be on a date at the restaurant which you know we can't because of <laughs> covid but i pull out the phone she, she's gotta go to the bathroom oh quick i'll play a quick match Arena of Valor has very quick games. They're about 15 to 20 minutes. Compared to League of Legends, you're, you're looking at 30 to 45 minutes if you want to play a game. That's a long time. That's a trip to, I don't know, wherever you live. It could be, it's a long drive. It's a trip out of town, back into town, and out of town again if you live in a small town. But it depends where you are. So, we, so we've been talking about Hayate. We see Hayate drafted from Cute to Win, their first draft. Hayate is the character of this tournament, this entire tournament. He's either chosen or or he's banned. 
he's chosen or he's banned and this game we saw he wasn't banned meaning that of course he's chosen so i'm very excited to see q to win who just won the last game very very strong team choosing hayate now we saw how they played last game they really stuck together and that is what hayate wants hayate is a character who wins team fights 1v1 ah, i don't know there's better characters assassins can kill him pretty quickly but when he's in a team fight that's when he really shines hayate is a ninja he throws shurikens he does true damage if you have shields on your character whatever that's what hayate says whatever he's a samurai and he will hit you through those shields we see omen drafted as well <coughs> omen we saw banned last game yep yeah, he's getting nerfed. He's actually very strong. Omen is the character. He goes in the, the Slayer lane, uh, the solo lane. He he can just push lanes very well. His ultimate is an ability. Locks down an opponent, puts a ring around them. They cannot leave that ring for a period. I think it's like seven to eight seconds. I think it starts at five and it goes up to eight it's seconds. It's long. It's, it's a really long time. Long. You're going to be in there for a while. If we see Rui right now, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna go you're crazy. Gonna go off. If you guys Aren't don't you know, best Rui? I'm server's best Rui. I'm server's best Xenial. So my two favorite characters in this game are Rui and Xenial. We almost saw Rui chosen. We have not seen Rui chosen at all this tournament, and it breaks my heart. She's very strong, but there's also other strong characters which teams have been deciding to choose, which totally makes sense let's go dummy diamond hmm, and sure you need to think about lane priority oh yeah we got people asking for tips of how to get out of diamond rank so yeah make sure you guys talk amongst yourselves uh, of how to get out of diamond rank uh watching this game you can definitely get some ideas we will talk about characters and how characters function and the thing is if you're playing a character you want to play your character to the best of your ability so there's two aspects in a MOBA game, you have the micro aspect. So uh, in econ micro economics, for example, the micro is the individual skills of the character, when you press his skills, who you're targeting, that sort of thing. Then you have macro. And macro economics is the, the global economy, the, the dollar value and the, the central bank. So in a game like this, macro is how you farm. It's where you position yourself. It's how you play with your team and communicate with your team, where your team will be. That is the macro elements so you need to combine and understand both elements with whatever character you're playing so we could look at whichever character we're looking at we talked about hayate a fair bit let's talk why don't or, you ta or, wait, talk wait. us or, or you can do what i did yeah what do you, you do you, you you start streaming it would be you wait till dark gaming joins your chat yeah and then you say hey dark you want to boost me <laughs> So boosting is a way to definitely climb ranks. That's and I'm glad you mentioned it cuz 148258026 is asking how to get out of diamond. You could get boosted for sure. It depends what your end goal is. Do you just want to get in masters or do you want to improve as a player? Because getting boosted will not really improve you as a player, but it will get you out of your rank. So it depends what your goal is. Oh, are we seeing a Rui ban? I'm just seeing that I oh, love that they're hovering Rui. I feel like they're doing yeah, this because it's, it's just I'm casting. You. <laughs> I think so. Although banning Rui is, that's not a tease to me. That hovering Rui, that's a tease. Banning her, I'm like, whatever, you know, you could ban her, that's fine. I would use the pain ban, though. Pain very strong in jungle. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, now we do see Annette banned from cute to win. Annette is a support character, and we saw her in the last game. Her ultimate creates a circle that the enemies cannot enter. And if they are in that circle, they immediately get pushed out. And we saw some really, really clutch ultimates from Annette. We saw her dropping an ultimate so that Kira could not escape, and then she died. The Annette played super well, and we're actually seeing Annette being banned. I've noticed in these high-level Conqueror games, they, they play Annette fairly commonly. Like she's often chosen, so it's wow, you would Zilban, never in a regular that's... game. Zilban, oh yeah, you would never in a normal game see a net banned, ever. I've never seen her banned, but in these high level games, it's very interesting to see how their bans differ. And I think it's it's a good ban for sure because we saw how powerful a net was, and we do see Toolin. Remember, I was talking about how Lightning Pig on Dummy's team. I was hoping that he'd choose Toolin, like an electric hero. We might see him choose Toolin this game. I don't know. But they do have Tulin on their team. Meaning they can... Uh, so you can swap characters if you're watching. You're confused like, but Lightning Pig... Lightning Pig didn't choose Tulin. Lightning Pig's the person who's choosing Fennec right now. Um, but you, they can swap characters. They can trade characters amongst themselves. So 
you often will see them first draft the most powerful characters. So we saw Hayate draft, for example. That doesn't mean that Renchan has to play Hayate. He could swap with Maddie or Sol Sally or Kendrick or Nightmare. He could swap with any of them. Yeah, I'm excited to see this. Uh, Apex Jobber, have you ever watched any of these games like League of Legends, Arena of Valor? Do you know how MOBAs work at all? I don't know. I think most people watching would know, but I don't I don't know if Apex Jobber knows. Other people might not know either. Disciple are very intrigued by the Annette ban. Yeah, I've never seen it either, and we do see it here. Looking at this draft so far, so we need a support character from Dummy. They're hovering lumber. So against Tayate, you want to crowd, you want to hit him with some crowd control, and you also want to avoid team fights. So I almost feel like you don't want a support that plays into team fights. In in my opinion, I mean Lumber's such a good support, and he does have good crowd control. His ultimate will knock up Hayate. It will slow Hayate as it will with all the opponents. Oh, I, whoa, hold on! Are we gonna see the Omega pick? We might see Omega. I honestly feel. And this might seem biased, but I feel like Rui would be a, a really strong pick here. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why, Rui's really good against Omen. Really, She's good against Omen, she's good against Valheim, she's good against a lot of things. Of course, they're not going to choose Rui, unfortunately, but I would love to see her. Uh, we are seeing Omega. Now, Omega was recently buffed. He's a character who was before very strong against towers, and he'd do a lot of damage to towers. And he was he was a support that would push people around, but he was never chosen. He was kind of a meme. They really reworked him. He's very strong now, and you actually see people choose him in the Slayer lane. He's actually stronger as a support, but he's Peter. Okay, super can good. we like yeah. talk about the team comps though? Like, we have in a Q to win a jungle Valheim. Wow, a jungle Valheim. And on uh, Dummy's team, we do have, we have double marksmen. We have Caffney and Fennec. Both teams are double what are marksmen. Watching right yeah. now. Bo oh, wait, so, are they both double marksmen? Yeah. So when you oh, see yeah, double Valheim. marksmen, yeah. When I see double marksmen, what I look at is the mobility of the marksman. And you'll see Hayate is very mobile. Valheim is not. However, Dummy has Caffney and Fennec, who are very mobile. Tulin and Richt are very mobile. So they actually have a very strong poke composition, which is actually going to be really good against Hayate because you don't want a team fight against Hayate. That's going to be tough, team fighting against the Hayate. So having mobile characters, I feel like they did a good job drafting very mobile characters. Richter is going to be a character to really watch out for, very strong in the draft. However, Richter's facing a difficult lane matchup. Omen is a character that will really punish you if you roam, if you leave your lane. And Richter wants to leave the lane a lot. So Omen, yeah, I would have tried to ban Omen perhaps, but what can you do? This is the draft. This is what they have. You're going to have Richter against Omen in that top lane. We're going to see how it shapes up. But yeah, not a typical draft at all. Both teams have double marksmen, meaning they're going to both scale very well into the late game. Yeah, if you'll notice, uh, also Q to win just straight up doesn't have a mage at all. Wow. I'm actually looking at that now. That's very interesting. So that means that dummy and their conquerors, they like they're high level players. They know if they just build armor, the longer the game goes, the oh, better they're going to do. It's a support Malik. Let's go. What? Okay. I'm so <laughs> down to see this right now. I'm looking at the items. I'm like, wait, they have a support Malik. Yeah. And we didn't talk about that at all, but Malik's actually a very strong support right now, depending on who he's paired with. This poor omen. Look how deep they went to get that omen. That's crazy. This jungle invade is massive. And they got yeah, they a... They have a great early comp, uh, early uh, game comp. Yeah, they right got a kill the and the, the jungle. So we see a counter invade oh, as well. Yep, team Dummy well. coming in, counter invading that red team, they that blue team jungle. It. Yeah, that's pretty big. Win. Looking for a fight. Travel that's going to be 3v3. Top down to bottom of here. It's going to be 3v3, and it's hard to say who will come out on top. It's still so early, but... Caffeine can just poke a lot better. They're going to want to try to get as much engage as they can before Malloc hits level 4. Once Malloc hits level 4, it's going to be very scary for a team dummy to face that Malloc's ultimate. Malloc's ultimate makes him fly. It's the only time his wings work. He's kind of like a chicken that way that he doesn't really get much <laughs> vertical lift. But when he uses ultimate, he goes flying in really far, creates a giant circle that knocks up the opponent's 
it's it's pretty powerful there's a big fight over the spirit sentinel it looks like it's yeah, gonna be for right even more wow omen gonna back off okay both teams are uh, kind of just backing off realizing the situation they are gonna just clear mid see how the flow of the game goes uh, which team is gonna try to extend which team is gonna go for objectives yeah so actually uh, getting like omen so low is huge invade. Getting Omen so low is huge. Richter's going to be able to clear this wave and then roam down, and they should be, in theory, able to get the dragon off of that. So if you look at it, they were preparing for that dragon a good minute before they were even going for it. Oof. Omega getting really low. They aren't going to have their, their tank to contest the dragon here. Uh, they do leash it out, though. Uh, they don't yeah. want to get caught in by an abyssal stun and then get dived uh by a fennec there yeah that's true and I, they weren't able to capitalize on that by getting omen low and now richter lost that opportunity he has to go back up top they're actually going to lose this dragon here omen is quite low or sorry omega i apologize is quite low this support omega doesn't have any sustain and so that's kind of the downside of him as a support he was reworked a lot he's good in team fights but they don't really want to take team fights so oh is this gonna, gonna be, be a tower take? yeah looking like it is yeah, very early tower take. That's quick. That's three minutes in. Yeah, we'll see three people in that center bush, but when you have Malak, you don't want all those people. There's a big alt by Malak right there. We see the Arctic Orb going on Fennec. Not enough. And the fight continues. This is a huge fight right now. Omega constantly pushing uh, Omen back into uh, his team, but it looks like uh, Q2Win is going to be able to get it on top over here as they are slightly squishy. Varus is going to start chasing Tulin too Forced to back out. Malik uh, trying to cut off Tulin. Tulin now forced to back up into the jungle. And it's looking like it might uh, be... Okay, no. Okay, I thought they were going to try to go for the tower, but Fennec coming in for the support kind of just stopped them. So they are going to set it right back to neutral. Yeah, no, that's really good. Uh, Red how's team. The gold difference looking? Gold difference. Blue team. Cute to win. Doing very well. And they're playing, they're playing how they need to. They need to win early. They really do because they don't have any mages. Like you said, the only AP da ability power damage they have is going to be from Valheim, which uh, he needs to get pretty close. And it's actually not a ton of magical damage. So tell me if they're going to win well, they this. They want this game to go they on. Also long. Have the, um, they also have the benefit of the Malik true damage. So we have to remind ourselves about that. That is true, yes, exactly. The damage is true. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting invaded a cool. lot. Yeah, Q2 wins playing this very well. They, they're they pushing their early advantage. Look at uh, Omega or Omen. It's, the names are so similar, I can get them confused. Omen now in bottom lane. They, they swap lanes really well. This is something you commonly see on Conquer teams when they're working together, communicating. They're able to, to coordinate together, and that's, that's really big there. Yeah, so far, uh, q 2 win just has overall better map control, better pacing, better movement together. Uh, that is why they are able to put on so much pressure on the lanes, even though they're not taking incredibly risky team fights. Yeah, you're able to really see the results of their decision. So, for example, putting Omen in that bottom lane, they were able to get the kill and that top tower very easily. So they had chosen, you know, maybe three minutes, two minutes prior to put Omen in the bottom lane, and you see the results come out, and that's the... The thing that you see playing with or watching Conqueror teams. Oh, that's a huge pull oh, there. Huge, Omen's big, great dive. big hook. Yep. Or like able great, to grab. Uh, yeah, great engage actually. Not not much, not really a dive. Much more like a better really good mm -hmm. engage. You can see so how calculated they are with their on movements. Fennec here. Wow, Kendrick, um, getting the clean kill there. It just yeah. really doesn't matter. So much damage. Varys is playing very well. I have to say, I'm seeing her land her hooks, her stuns. Like, look at this fight in the mid lane right now. Tulin's jumping on her, and she is going to go down. But she got that Tulin quite low. And in the meantime, while she's fighting a 2v1 there, her teammates are able to push that bottom tower on the, the red side. We see a big this fight going in here. Tulin's trying to like run. This is looking like a training routine for Q to win right now. They're just running it like it's your average work shift from 8 to 9. Yeah, Omega it's using his ultimate. Business as usual for them right now. Malik, ultimate missing there. Um, That's huge that o Omen Omega is able to make it out. Oh, but Omen's ultimate right there onto Caffeine. That's not fun for her. And of course, Omega can't help. He's so low. That was tough for him. He's able to live, but he had to watch his teammates die. That's so sad. Being a support and feeling powerless is not a good feeling. They're pushing this tower here. Are they going to be able to get it? Not quite. You need a minion wave to be able to 
damage the tower without its shield. Yeah, this is this is tough. We really need to see Dummy push the game longer, but it's seven minutes and they've they've almost lost their inner turrets. So if they play together, if they, if, it's hard to say. Really, you you want to say if they if they group up, they can win a team fight, but they're against the Hayate. And if you enter a group yeah. fight against the Hayate, you're going to lose. And they're, it's, the Viries as well times. is playing so well. And Viries is very oppressive with her her crowd control abilities. Viries is a character who can stun and push people around a lot, but she's she's very skill dependent. Blue team actually able to get the Slayer already. In order, in order to break something like this, you need a really good team fight, but that's really hard to do when you're going into a Malik Hayate. Uh, you, you here we go. This could be a good collapse right and, here. Uh... Okay, yeah. hold on. Yep. As you're saying that, okay, we have the Omen pushing uh, what uh, Kendrick right into the wall there. Malik is going to pop the ultimate. Uh, manages to get a cleave in there. Hayate with the ultimate doing so oh, wow. much damage. The team body blocks a tool and alt. And um, yeah, yeah well looking played. like great push in mid lane. Nightmare. Uh, cleaning up the waves, managing to push, push the Drake all the way down mid. Now it is looking like it's going to be over for Dummy as um, Tito win has really just ran the whole map all over them. Yeah, um, I with... feel like this is a match that Dummy, if they were to go and look back, they could see multiple opportunities where they could, they could have done something and actually could have turned this around. We are casters, so we are watching right now from the booth. We get the full the full picture we can see it all they cannot and i think that that match is going to be a good learning experience for dummy to to go back and look at and cute to win very dominant that game wow they they did very well they they identified how they win they win early and they were able to execute quite well so you can see my face now uh who were your mvps guys before we switch over to the score screen who were the players that you saw really stood out so on cute to win we have viris we have malloc we have valheim we have hayate and we have omen and then on the dummy team red team we had richter fennec caffney omega and tulan so for me who who for you stood out there tempest why don't you share your two mvps um, I wouldn't say there's like a really standout player, more or less that um, Q to win just overall had the uh, better uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. uh, they were constantly rotating together. Uh, that dummy just couldn't keep up. Uh, dummies kind of just seemed like uh, they were slightly, uh, if I would say, tilted, um, if I dare say. Uh, <laughs> like they were kind of just walking around like headless chickens they just didn't really seem like they knew what they were doing mm. or how they could make it back from that it is really tough though as a as like the way to break out of that is like you try to get a really good team fight but that highly depends on if the enemy team makes a mistake if they try to overextend and as you see um q to win kind of just like kind of ran shop and they took over the map uh they were rotating extremely well and their teamwork was extremely good yeah, um, chat is mentioning, we have Disciple mentioned in the chat that uh, it seems as though they lost in the draft. It seems as though Dummy lo lost in the draft. And looking at it, I feel like the Omega support pick could have been a lot better. I feel like that was very tough. You saw early in the game, Omega that was the first to die. He was the first blood. He was in the red team. He was in his team's jungle the red, by the red buff, and he couldn't really do anything against the opponents it was it was really tough and the, that's the thing with omega he can't really do a lot outside of his ultimate ability he's not a top tier support pick and when you're facing a, ri a ridiculously strong co enemy composition that's like top top characters like hayate you really need to choose a support that counters those characters in my opinion um and omega is a team so he's a team fight oriented champion and you're fighting against a team that you don't want to team fight against. That's really tough to have that type of support into that composition. So for me, my MVP picks, I want to say that the Viries really stood out for me with landing those skill shots. I play a lot of Viries. I really like her. And she's really hard to land the skill shots. But I noticed in the team fights, really well, really well done. Getting off good life steals. Yes, she died to the opposing team's Tulin. But Tulin played very well, and Tulin is actually who I would have put on the red team's 
MVP list. I think if we go to damage, yeah, he did 40% of the team's damage. That is crazy. He almost did half of his team's damage, and his team is all very bursty, strong heroes, aside from Omega. So for him to do that much damage is really a testament to his ability and skill to of, of the hero. Yeah, and it was a good game to watch to to learn from i think you could really learn a lot from watching that game i almost want to watch it back and just watch it from the perspective put on the fog of war of the team of the red team in particular to see what could have gone differently what were some decisions there like that last fight where i was like oh they have a collapsing options here they had they could have had a 4v2 there was uh hayate and somebody was with the hayate um, but how they rotated in seven is because they didn't have vision, right? We we know that because we're watching and there's no fog of war. We can see everything. But I'm curious to see from their perspective, were there indicators that would have allowed them to know that they could have taken that big fight there and would have won it if they'd taken it earlier? I don't know. This is a this was a great game for that. Um, really shows the dominance of the team cute to win. They're facing one of the best teams in the tournament and they just decimated them. Yeah, definitely wow. a cue to win. Looking like the team to watch out for now. They are now the official undefeated team uh, going through uh, the round of robins or group stage uh, for the tournament. Absolutely. I, I threw down the tournament link there. If you guys want to click on that, you can actually see the teams and, and the breakdown and how they're doing and the schedule and stuff. So right now, we ha do we have any more games with Q to win? I wonder. Let's... Let's find out. Let me go to my desktop viewer and you can see it. Here we go. We have cute to win is not playing any more games. So they're done. They've won their. They've only played two matches though. So let's go back and we can look at the Chalong here and see. So the next game, if you guys are wondering, today is Saturday. The next game is going to be Wednesday night. Wednesday. Wednesday night and it's all under the schedule there on the notion link that I posted Wednesday night is going to be the next game and it's gonna be a good match as well because we're just about done we're just about done here so yeah you're gonna see cute to win two zero and zero so but I believe they need to play each team so they should have a rating of three out of three like three games whether it's three wins whether it's a win a loss a tie, whatever should be a total of three so anihi the tournament organizer should be able to shed some more light on that situation but yeah we're nearing the end of the brackets phase and then it goes into the elimination tournament